Hello out there everyone, it's your High Priestess Kathy. And today, as you can see from my little picture there, we're going to be talking about cinnamon brooms. Let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, now there are a couple of magical practices that are known to do with cinnamon brooms. And one is to bring in love love into your life and the other one is for protection now I grew up with my mother and my grandmother would use these cinnamon brooms uh, for actual protection and to bring in money okay so that's another thing you can use your cinnamon uh, broom with because as we all know cinnamon is connected with uh, money and love and um, the thing is with the most cinnamon brooms is that they may smell like cinnamon they may not they're actually made out of uh, uh, pine cone sticks and uh, the actual cinnamon where, where you're smelling it is because the people have put cinnamon oil in it and it will leave your home fragrant for at least a day or two. Um, sometimes what you can do if the smell starts to die out, uh, you can order you some more cinnamon oil. Um, I'll be having some on my website. You can purchase it from as well. And you can put that cinnamon oil back on your cinnamon broom. Okay, um, now on Pinterest there's an interesting website and it has um, cinnamon brooms uh, representing the winter solstice, uh, summer solstice, um, Samhain, Halloween, Christmas, even New Year's. Um, I've seen people dress their broomsticks up, uh, you know, as Santa Claus or, uh, you know, a great pumpkin or, you know, they give life <laughs> they're decorating their cinnamon brooms okay for yule and everything so i thought that that was interesting that's something that you can also do with your cinnamon broom if you're planning on getting another one uh what some people do like i said if it starts to look old after a while what you can do you can get rid of that one and replace it with a new one or if you have cinnamon oil you can rub your cinnamon oil onto your cinnamon broom to keep it fresh looking and alive and to keep it smelling good okay so with that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed this video the magical uh, aspect of a cinnamon broom um i would advise you to go out and get one i have a very nice quality one that i sell on my website it's uh, actually 36 inches and it's from a very popular company so as you can see I kind of marked out the name of the company but you probably can figure it out where it comes from and it is pretty expensive uh, depending and if uh, more than twenty dollars is out of your budget for a cinnamon broom but I would actually look at it as an investment it's an investment into your protection for your home for your family for your surroundings you definitely want to get this cinnamon broom and uh, what you can do before you bring it into your house is you know pray over it meditate over it chant over it um, you know make sure that you you're, you know either consecrating it or blessing it you want to make sure that you put your energy into the broom and to clear out any negative energy or any energy that's not welcome in your home okay so and then once you get your cinnamon broom inside you know hang it on your wall or set it up against the wall however you want to do it uh, whatever spirit leads you to do uh, with your cinnamon broom okay so um, if you'd like some more information about this uh, please check my description box below um, like I said, if you want a smaller cinnamon broom, maybe something a little cheaper, you can also let me know. Just contact me at Hyperscathy 
at gmail.com or highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com. And yeah, take, take a look in the description box. It'll have uh, other information about there, about the different services I provide as well. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And let's create some magic with our cinnamon brooms, okay? Bye-bye.